Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm launching my brand new It's Only More Puppets collection. So if you've been with me for a while, probably about two years ago, I launched It's Only a Puppet collection and that was a Christmas collection and it was a six by six die set or well, the main mechanism. And it was really popular and lots of people said, oh, I'd love to see more puppets and different card sizes. And that's what I'm bringing to you today. So we've got six new puppets, brand new five by seven paper pad and two new die set sizes. So I'm going to show you all that in a moment. I just want to say that I'm going to be live at 12.30 today over on the Craft Stash Facebook page. I'll be doing two new demos and I'll be showing you all of this in a lot more detail. All of that information will be shared in the description box below. The video will then be uploaded onto YouTube and you'll be able to see that later on today as well. So just keep an eye out and make sure you're subscribed to the Craft Stash YouTube channel as well. So I think, first of all, let's look at the puppets, because I think that's what most people want to see, because I've been sharing a few little sneak peeks, and it's been really fun seeing what you've been guessing. So we have here the gorgeous guinea pig. Now, these are stamp and die bundles as well, so all of the dies are coloured in all the different shades of teal there, and then all the black and white images are your stamp sets, and I'll show you how they all look in a moment. So gorgeous guinea pig. We've then got bouncing bunny. Adorable doggy. Perfect parrot, cute cat, and terrific tortoise. So all of these here are what we thought would be the most common pets that people have in their house. I know there's going to be some others there, but that leaves us open to be able to do more puppets in the future. But hopefully we've covered, you know, the main ones here. And, you know, you can use things like the cat. It's going to be great for Halloween. So you can have a black cat, so you can use it again there. And also things like the guinea pig you can change that so it looks like a rat a hamster gerbil mouse you know many rodents what else can you the parrot there you can change it so it looks like other birds as well all of these bits are separate you build it however you want and the bunny's going to be great for easter as well so hopefully there's going to be something there for everyone and then the paper pad beautiful this one so there are more scenes but these will go with so many of my past collections and the nice thing about these is with the two new die set, you have very little waste. So you're literally getting all of this scene here. So you've got the little picket fence there, the clouds. Love that one there with the bold flowers. You've got the sunbeam there. Beautiful rainbow, that one's so fun. And then another one there with the rolling hills and the sunbeam. And these obviously coordinate perfect with the pets, but I can see a lot of you using these with your other collections. And then these are the two new die sets. So you've got your five by seven, which was asked a lot when I released the six by six. So many people said, we need a five by seven. So we've got that one here. And now we've done A2. So all of you across the pond and those of you that just prefer making smaller cards, this is the very first A2 size die that I've made. You've got your three dies in here. So you've got your main plate, you've got your arrow and you've got your pull tab. I just revert to the six by six size. So anybody new who's missed this one, because the last puppets we did were Christmas puppets, we launched it with this six by six set. So this one's slightly different and this is available on the website. And we launched this because it was Christmas time. So they created snow angels because they, they have that movement to them. So you get this snow angel plate on the top. If you prefer six by six card sizes, all of these puppets will coordinate perfect. And also if you've already got this mechanism, and you just want new puppets, you'll know that it will all work with that. So the only one this doesn't have is the arrow. That's the main difference. But I've got my actions stamp set, which has all of the different words, action words, but also the icons as well. So it's got arrows and things that you can stamp on rather than use the die. So first of all, the parrot. So I've created this box card here so I could hang different toys behind. And you can see the little ladder there, the perch, the little toys hanging down at the top. And then I'll pop this onto acetate and then you can see there how he looks. I have done tutorials for all of these samples, so they will be going up on the channel. And then when that folds flat, that will fit in a 7x7 box envelope. And I've got those as well on the channel. But it's a really fun style. You see the paper as well in the background and you've got your space on the back there to write your message. But you can see how the parrot looks when he's all built up. See some of that detail there in the wings. And then Gemma's made this one here and she's popped this particular one on the five by seven tower die set. It's worked perfectly. See the little again ladder and the detail there, the little water bowl and then the sentiment. You can see again how he all moves. So cute, I think that's brilliant. And then this card here I made using the terrific tortoise, slow and steady wins the race. And this is just one of the faux stepper styles. And then on the back, I've got the space there to write my message. And again, you can see 
<laughs> he's just adorable he just makes me smile so much and then Gemma's done this easel card and she's used the sentiment let us celebrate which I just love you know I love a pun she used a couple of little water droplets there and then the different paper background which I think works brilliantly with him and again you can see how he works there and it's nice to see the different you know greens and just different browns and just the way we've put it together there slightly different and then, like I said, one of my favourites, so this is the A2 size here with the guinea pig. And I just think he's brilliant. Have a great week. And there's that little broccoli. Very, very cute. And the little strawberry there. And I've just used some accent glaze on the face. And that sort of little top fold. And then Gemma. This one's slightly wider because she's added an extra layer with the red card. The black there is the A2 size. And she stamped the background using the strawberry stamp, which I thought was really good. And again, you can see there how he works. Fairy friends make the best friends and a completely different colorway to me there as well. So that's good. And then we've got the little dog here. So I've based mine around my puppy, Monty. So he is black and tan sausage dog. So I have also changed his tail. I actually snipped into the dye. You'll see it on Gemma's sample, how it does look. But I just wanted to show you how you can also change the tail to maybe look a bit more like your fairy friend. I'm sure this kind of card will put a smile on their face. And you can see the papers that I've used there and I've created this fun fold. You've got space to write on your back there and it all stands up. And then you can see the toys here. So it's like that one's been thrown. You've got the little water bowl, collar, and the bone there as well. And then Gemma's done this one. She's done an A2 size, and she's actually made it look like a little dog's kennel. And she's put the sentiment here, love is a four-legged word. And you've got a grey dog, and you can see the tail there, how it looks. And then again, you can see how that all works. Really, really cute. I then did this easel block card using the bunny and you can see that little water bottle here and I've added some glaze onto it and just paper pieced it and then on the front here I've got the sentiment you're hopping mad with again the broccoli, carrots, the water bowl, you can see the embossed detail there, glaze so you can see the water and then again you can see how he works and if you wanted to you can flip this ear so you've got both of them like this or you can have both of them like this so again you can change it up there i've added a lot of detail a lot of dimension onto these but you can certainly just stick them on top of each other you don't have to add the foam in between each layer and then you've got all your space inside again i've got a tutorial for that one and then Gemma's done this one here again the same sentiment you're hopping mad and we even done the same background <laughs> but slightly different colours with the bunny there. And she's actually stuck the tail onto the paper there. So again, just different ways to put these together. Really, really fun. And then the last one is the cat puppet. So I've made this as an A2 gatefold card. I've done this topper with a little catnip toy. You've got the ball of uh, yarn there, the little mouse, little paw prints. And then I've used my stencil, the cloud stencil, which was part of the Whatever the Weather collection. Slide off the belly band and then inside... You've got a cute little cat there and I've used the sentiment happy fur day to my favourite person. I've got the little fish bowl there, the little scratch tower there and then some of the fish scales and paw prints. And again, you can see how he moves there. i done the whiskers in vellum just so it was a little bit different. And again, you can see the glaze on the nose and the tongue there. And then again, me and Gemma had a similar idea doing a gatefold with the cat. She's done the five by seven. She's created this topper here, have a cat-tastic birthday with the ball of yarn. And then she's used the paw prints and made her own paper there, which is really good. And then again, open this one up and this piece drops down with your sentiment. You are pawsome. She's used the larger paw print to make the paper either side. And then she stamped the ball of yarn there all over and then coloured it in different colours. You've got your black cat. So this is a good one to show how it would look for Halloween. So you could use my Halloween background papers, you know, and icons from that collection have bats flying in the background i think you've got a really cool spooky interactive halloween card as well so i will be live at 12 30 today over on the craft stash facebook page all of those details will be shared in the description box below so you'll have the link there to the live and then it will be uploaded onto youtube and that one goes live usually around 7 p.m as well so if you would rather watch there you'll be able to see it but i'll have two new demos to show you and we can go into all of this in a bit more detail thank you as always for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye